Yo. Alright, today I'm going to the movies. I'm going to see Thor. If you know, if you know me, you know me. I love the Marvel movies. Uh, yeah, so I'm about to do that. Me and my mama going. Yeah. Oh, and I gotta stop at the post office because they never delivered. Remember, I told y'all they never delivered my package. They mysteriously found it. So, I'm gonna go pick that up today as well. But that Thor movie should be hard. It better be hard. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'm about to go watch that. Catch the drip drop. Peace. So now I'm at the post office to pick up my package that never got delivered and it's crazy because they kept saying they delivered they delivered they delivered I'm like nothing's in my mailbox she was like I remember your mailbox was full I remember delivering I'm like no 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 I have nothing in my mailbox so and and they probably have all my mail I haven't received a bill I haven't nothing not an electric bill phone bill nothing man. cable bill nothing like Shit crazy, man. I guess we all make mistakes, but there's a lot of mail that I'm missing. <laughs> Alright, so I went to the post office to get my mail. I go to the post office to get my mail. And when I get to the counter, the guy I tell him I'm here to pick up my mail. So the first thing he does is get smart. <laughs> Why are you picking up your mail from them from here? Why would you be doing that? So I say I'm here to pick up my mail again. So I'm a new, you know, I let that go. Again, <laughs> why are you picking up your mail from here? So I'm like, yo, this guy want me to smack the shit out of him. So I'm I'm still keeping my calm, you know. I don't really try to let people piss me off too much. So, I'm keeping my calm. I say, look, here's the number that they gave me uh, that, I, that I had to give them because I couldn't find my package in the mail. So, he's still saying that doesn't explain anything. So I said, look, they told me to come pick my mail up. I'm coming to pick my mail up. So then finally, after we go back and forth about five, 10 minutes, he goes to get my mail. So I'm like, yo. He's like, he brings the mail back. And it's a lot of mail. It's all my mail that I never received. And he's saying, like, you need to check your mailbox. I'm like, yeah, I ain't delivered that shit. Like, so I don't know who mailbox. We need to figure that out. Oh, no, nah, we delivered it to your mailbox. So I'm like, all right, cool. He had my ID, so I snatched that out of his hand. I said, I should smack the shit out of you, but I didn't. So, I just left. So, I'm ready. I, I'm telling you, man. These people are crazy. So, I'm like, yo. This guy really was ready to have me smack him in there for, for no reason. I guess because he was mad that he had to be at work or something. I don't know. I don't know. You know, when I used to go to work, I, I just called out if I didn't feel like going. So, I wouldn't have those problems. All right. So... Then I'm like, I got to get to the bottom of this because I need my mail. You know what I mean? Like, my mail has to go somewhere else. I order expensive things. Now I have to send it somewhere else and then go pick it up. So I got to drive to go pick it up, which, it, I mean, it ain't far. But what I'm saying is I can't get my own mail here. And so I go to the office, the leasing office. And I'm like, yo, is there any way we can check... Uh, the people above me or under me mailbox to see if the people who've been putting their mail and their mailbox my mail in their mailbox or something like that so then the chick she's like uh that works there she's like let me see which mailbox is you and i'm like this is the one for my apartment number right and then she looks and they done gave me the wrong fucking mailbox key like that shit crazy. So I don't I'm ready to fight this guy at the post office. I cussed out the mail lady basically because like I'm not getting my mail. And it's their fault the whole time. 
So I have a key. I have a key that works for somebody else's mailbox. And then we go to my, the, my mailbox that they finally told me the number of. And it works for that one too. This shit is crazy, man. So I'm thinking, like, when we first got here, I told you guys it was their fault. They lose the packages and all that shit. Okay, and then I said, no, it's the post office fault because they didn't, they not been delivering it. It's actually their fault. These people don't, they're not really doing their job well. Some of them do, well, only, only the one person. She does her job. The rest of these people, they don't really care. And they don't do what they're supposed to do. Like, you, you should have had that information. When they gave me the key, first of all, when they gave me the key, it had the wrong number on it. So they wrote the mailbox number on there. And it wasn't the right mailbox number. So, you can't take your time to do your job. Then don't come to work. That's how I feel. You know what I mean? And, and now, it's like nets uh, everywhere in here. I asked them to spray the shit. Send somebody to spray. It was like nobody came to spray. And they, they annoyed that. So I'm going to call somebody to spray myself. And I'm going to send the bill to them. And then I might be moving out of this motherfucker. I ain't going to lie. I might just pay the money and move out here. You know what I mean? Because when things get bad, they get bad. And then. It also, it's been like little rats outside. Haven't been in the building, but they've been outside. So, well, they're not even little. They're big rats. <laughs> it was a whole family. So, I have to see, man. I'm going to go looking for a new place. I'm going to look for a new place, man. Because these people, I don't know, man. They tripping. Like, I paid a little money to get out the lease or maybe I have to go to corporate and see if they let me out whatever man cause y'all know I don't like to spend the money for real for real but that's how that works